Hi, I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a first time visitor, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon so you can be notified when I publish new content. If you are that returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. What we're going to talk about today is the Microtik WSAP Enwall APAC light. So let's see if I can make this thing appear. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Helpy Helper. All right, so what we've got here is the uh, Microtik WSAP AC light. It's a very nice piece of hardware. It provides so many features. So uh, I'm going to just, I wrote some notes on the board here. Um, so it is passive or 802.3 AF AT powered. Uh, by PoE. Now, if you read the instructions, it'll say, you know, maybe power it with the included uh, power brick, but it actually does not, this this one did not come with uh, a power brick. It takes a maximum of eight watts. There's also a USB 2.0 port on here for charging or for storage. It does have passive PoE out, and one of the biggest features for me is you're going to see right here is the there's an rj11 pass through so when i'm putting this in a unit i don't have to cut a second gang i don't have to try to sell them on a phone system they don't want um and it works out it works out really well for all of us so here is the mounting plate and once again here's the back of the unit so here we've got our ethernet and over here we have our rj11 pass through we've got all of our led indicators over here and then on the inside then we have you'll see our ethernet so we've got ethernet out and it'll also provide passive out and then over here we have that rj11 pass through for me the rj11 pass through was huge it was absolutely huge um, because like I said I don't have to cut another uh, gang box in and I don't have to try to do anything with wires I sw simply swap what's what's there especially if there's already Ethernet to the room it is absolutely beautiful so let's talk about the wireless on this it is a dual 2.4 5 gigahertz sports BGN and AC uh, the modes that it supports uh, AP, CPE, P2P, and repeater. Now, you can configure this AP in standalone mode or in caps man mode. And caps man mode allows us to provision access points and manage uh, many access points from our caps man server. It is something that Microtik does provide. And if you want to see caps man tutorials, let me know down there in the uh, commentary. The street price on this guy, I know everybody's wanting to know what the street price is. The street price is less than $50 USD. Less than 50 USDs. You can take one of these home. I'll put my Amazon affiliate link to this access point down below. One other thing is that on the bottom of this, this is the, um, the cover. And right now it's just got a standard Phillips, it's just got a standard Phillips screw in there. And uh, what you can actually do is you can order the K50 security screw set so that people just can't be opening this uh, access point and doing whatever. So what you can do is you can actually use the knockouts that are on the bottom of this. And uh, there's a knockout here and a knockout over here. You can provide an ethernet cable out so they have ethernet connectivity. And then you can lock this up so they can't they can't be messing with it. And the way that the uh, mounting system works is it slides in through, in through the back. And once this thing is all sealed up, unless they pry it off, uh, there's really, there's really no way to, uh, to get it off the wall unless they want to break it. So uh, I'm going to take this access point and I've got two more in-wall access points. We're gonna do a quick introduction video like this. Then what we're gonna do 
is we are going to uh, fire these up and we're going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons of the in-wall access points. I thought you would uh, all enjoy that. So this comes with a router OS uh, license uh, level number four. So we will get into configuring this in another video, but I've had so many questions about this uh, that I wanted to get this out there so you can take a look at it. So you can get out there. They're cheap to get your hands on. Um, you know what the heck with it let's uh we'll fire this up and we'll just take a look at the uh we'll take a look at the interface so uh let's head on over to the computer and uh we'll be right back all right so we are over here at the computer and i've got a very simple setup here so i am powering this ap with a poe switch a standard poe and then my laptop is plugged into e2 now E3 has PoE out, so I don't want to plug my uh, workstation to that. Also on the back, I didn't point it out earlier, but we do have the mode and the reset button there. So that's how it's set up. So now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go over to microtick.com. We are going to download Winbox. Once Winbox is done downloading, we're going to fire it up and the AP shows up just like every other MicroTik device as 192.168.88.1 and we can uh, double click on it or we can uh, click connect and it's going to uh, connect to the AP. So now we've got Winbox up and going. We can go to Quick Set and we can take a look at uh, all of these other modes that are available for this access point. So you can see CPE, point-to-point -point bridge AP, point-to-point -point bridge CPE, WISP AP, home AP dual or cap. So this is what the device is seeing right now. It is set up in bridge mode. We can do router mode. We can set a static IP. We can change the identity. Um, a lot of the things that we're going to do with this can be done um, right here. So if we change the mode, you're going to see the options change. So um, here's the home AP dual. And we can do all, all kinds of different things with this. So it does work somewhat like some other uh, MicroTik devices or MicroTik. Uh, I have to get an official uh, an official uh, pronunciation, but what's really nice about it, it has all of the quick sets depending on what you're you're going to do. So if you're going to deploy a large number of these, you do have some options. You can do captive portal. They provide all of that, so you don't have to use, you know, one. Specific, you can even use this with third party um, portals and things like that. So. If you're really interested in this, this for the price, this access point is awesome. Now, I'm not saying that it is the end all be all, and it may have some drawbacks, but if you get a smaller MDU, if you get a smaller motel, and they want awesome Wi Fi for their guest experiences, you cannot go wrong with an access point that is sub 50 USDs. Uh, it takes you a little bit of work to understand how to set it up, but after you have that, I mean, it's it's really it's really all downhill from there. So that is what I wanted to show you. It's really that easy to manage this this AP. I'm really super happy. Uh, they did not send this to me. This is one that I purchased as a proof of concept along with another router. So when we get to the the Capsman video, I'll show that in conjunction, working together, and I'll show you the whole the whole system. All right, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to get your own MicroTik WASP in-wall APAC light, use that Amazon affiliate link down below if you feel so inclined to help us out here. Um, 
If you need IT consulting for any types of projects like this with wireless MDU network design, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. If you'd like to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, the link is down below. And as always, the Amazon affiliate links are down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks over to the channel to keep some of this stuff rolling in. So once again, I'm Willie, and I want to thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.